Hello, this is Rick Martin at the Air Force Institute of Technology, here with two of my undergraduate summer interns, Tyler Heinel from Ohio State and Alex Fulkertz from Cedarville University. This project is called Radio Tomographic Imaging, or RTI. We set up a perimeter of small radio sensors, which are all constantly communicating with each other. These are mounted on the PVC stands in the video. As a person crosses the various radio links, he blocks their line of sight, and his body absorbs a portion of the radio energy. This is detectable at each receiver, so the radio links act like a dense network of radio tripwires. By monitoring all links, we can form a rough image of all the obstructions in the network as shown in the lower right inset. From a military point of view, this technology is highly desirable because the radio links allow for imaging through heavy foliage and even concrete walls. From a commercial viewpoint, RTI has the advantage of being more privacy sensitive than a camera, for example, RTI can be used to monitor patients in assisted living facilities. RTI was first developed at the University of Utah by Joey Wilson and Neil Patwari. At AFIT, we are working to improve the physical modeling and the algorithm design to yield better imagery, to reduce the calibration requirements, and to tailor RTI to military applications, particularly through the wall imagery and foliage penetration. We are also interested in using it for cost-saving measures. For example, an RTI system can be used for monitoring resource use to determine what resources could be reduced with the least effect. In this video, the radios are set up at two-foot spacing outside a 25-foot by 25-foot classroom. All four walls are made of six-inch thick cinder blocks. You can see that as the subject walks along the edges of the walls, he is easy to detect. However, when he is near the center of the room, the algorithm has more trouble. The radios we are using are Telos B motes made by Memsic. They operate in the 2.4 GHz band, which is what most wireless devices use since no license is required to transmit in that band. These radios transmit one at a time using a peak power of 1 mW. For comparison, a typical wireless router uses 100 mW. That means that the spectrum use of this network is negligible compared to normal spectrum use in an office environment.